We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. So we'll, we'll, we'll be so famous that we'll have to say no to him. <laughs> have you ever said no? Yeah, uh, uh, Sherry, Anne-Marie, uh, you're yeah, on sorry. in five, <laughs> four, three, two. Hi, I'm Sherry Belafonte. And I'm Anne-Marie Johnson. And, and now, now, The, the Daily Shoes. Well, <laughs> Everybody get funky. Ow! <laughs> That's like James Brown came back. I swear. I love it. It's good, right? And she is. I'm Sherry Belafonte. And I'm Anne Marie Johnson. And this is the Daily Schmooze. And this is our our first. <laughs> Rejoice. Thank you very Yay! much. It's a very large crowd outside. It's frightening. <laughs> How'd they know? Like, you know what? Oh, oh and there's a smaller it? crowd in here. Yay! <laughs> We're just going to have to keep having them come back. Every I just week, want right? people applauding me even when I don't do anything. And you know I do. I know, and I, that's why I'm here with you. Well, welcome, everybody. This is our first. And, this is and the, hopefully not our last. No, but this is our first show. We're honored to be here. We're honored to be at L.A. Talk live, That's and right. uh, I I appreciate you, Sherry, reaching out to me and saying, "Hey, let's just be silly on a transmedia type of format." <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have to keep having all those people come back. Yeah, every week, yeah. Right? I, I think I rent them out. You know, this is this is really a first in so many ways because aside from the fact that it's a live radio show, I mean, yes. there have been other live radio shows before, but mm-hmm. this is a, we're a SAG contract. We yes. love that we are a union group. That's right. We're not making an enormous amount of money, but it's you know it's a really great push forward for our union. Yes, our union uh, for LA Talk Live. Yes. I think they're excited about it. We're very <laughs> excited about them. Yeah, and uh, you know. It's just shape of things to come. It is the shape of things to come. And what makes us different from other people is that we've been it, we've walked it, we've done it, we've seen it. We have different perspectives on a lot of issues. We Correct. Sometimes we see uh, eye to eye on a lot of issues. <laughs> <This> but, <eye. laughs> my good eye. My good eye. But Sherry and I have known each other. We've been competitors for the same roles. We've been friends. And Our, Anne Marie always got them. No, not, not necessarily. <laughs> when they went sexy, you got them. Yeah. When they went goofy, I got them. Our husbands have been friends for 30 years or so. Before us. Before us. Are we friends yet? We're, we're still okay, so we're so. Well, we will be after. Well, we will be. We have to be. <laughs> so it it was it was kind of like a wonderful combination to say, you know what, this is what we believe may be missing from certain radio, transmedia, television, and. People kind of like us. A lot of people may not like us. A lot of people... All the more reason for them to tune in. That's right. (laughs) They'll get a different perspective that we're just not uh, actors, that we have legitimate opinions. Well, you know, I'm going to take a line from Victor Mature. You know, Victor Mature wanted to go to, uh, I think it was the Riviera Country Club. Mm -hmm. And after playing golf at this country club, he went to the manager and said... You know, I, I'd like to join this club. And the manager said, I'm sorry, we don't have your kind here. And he said, what do you mean? This is back in the 40s, I think. He said, we, we don't allow actors. He said, I'm not an actor, and I have 52 fil- films to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so while Anne-Marie is an actor, <laughs> I have had some stabs at acting. And, well, I, and I always love it. Come on. But I al- always thought that I was a chatty Cathy and a production person. You know, I lit this place. Yes, you did. And <laughs> did you did a beautiful a, job. Did I do a good job? We need, w- once we tell folks how to get in contact with us and where we are, one question we should ask them, how do we look? Yeah. <laughs> because, you know. Especially we're, on the internet, because you know you look different on everybody's I know. Well, everyone's screen. screen is different, but right. we're, we're vain. We have the egos. We're actresses. We, you know, we. She's an actress. We've <laughs> known, we've, in, in a weird way, you've always been known as the pretty face. The, I, you I know, the t- top 50 beautiful women in 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 the business and I've never been uh, associated with beauty but but that's just m- my true. mom and dad thought I was really cute I think you're really well, cute well I appreciate you that you think I would have somebody ugly sitting yeah. next to <laughs> <laughs> well yeah to make you look better <laughs> That's no, Hollywood. You know, like, you know, the good news about being over 50 yes. is that you kind of give a lot of that stuff up. I think, you know what, that, along with a million other topics, that should be one of our topics because we're hoping that women of a certain age right. will be uh, tuning in and relating to what we're going through as women of a certain, certain age. age. <laughs> and in this industry, women of a certain age become, you know. Transmedia. That's right. like <laughs> so Stars. Basically, that's why we're here. <laughs> We were 
we're too old. Too old. <laughs> well, you know other. what the thing is, and I and I knock on wood on both. I think we're both still young enough that we don't look like moms. Just young, and not that there's anything with looking like a mom. No, we can. No, no. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know, right. quote unquote, what Hollywood yes. mother right. image is supposed to right. be. Right. Well, we you can know, be ants. We can be ants. We can be the crazy ant. In fact, uh, one of the guests that we have coming up, I played their crazy ant I'm in a television you. pilot. But, I mean, it, Hollywood is so uh, warped with their sense of what age really is. and so they're coming around in some things. Yeah, they're but, changing. But they're changing. But those will be one of our topics. We're, we're going to be we're gonna be your entertainment go-to, uh, current news, current trends, sports, uh, music. Arts and entertainment. Arts and advice. Classified. Yeah. I'm even going to hit the obits once in a while. Well, you know. Some, you know what? Speaking of the obits, <laughs> let's let's hit on that for a second okay. because not only was it the anniversary of Marilyn Monroe's death 50 years ago yesterday, uh, although I always thought she was a marginal talent at best, but it's nice that we uh, honor the iconic figures of right. Hollywood and whatnot. But we also had the passing of Gore Vidal, and you had a special. I, you know, I was very lucky in that uh, I got to interview him. I did a show for PBS years ago called First Edition, and Charlie Rose was a co-host. And we were interviewing uh, writers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and all the time, you know, the books would come in. I'd read the book in a week and, you know, get on to whoever I was interviewing. And then the producers came to me and said, all right, Gore Vidal is coming in. You know, you interview him because Charlie's going to be. I said, yeah, yeah, not a problem. I'd never read any of Gore's books. Mm -hmm. So I picked up a couple of the books. <laughs> I got stuck on the first page. I could not get through it. It's it very was heavy. So heavy. And right. so just wor I had to look up every other word. Yeah. And I, you know, graduated top of Car Carnegie Mellon. Got Pittsburgh. <laughs> Go! Woohoo! Go Steelers! Um, you know, and I'm not an idiot. No. But had such a tough time getting through this book, and I called the producer. I went, <gasps> panicky. What do mm -hmm. I do? And I said, you know what? I'm going to pick up the short stories because I know I can get through a couple of the short stories. Sure. Same thing. I was just, and I was sweating bullets thinking, because you know he's not an easy interview no. and doesn't like stupid. No. Did not like stupid. No. So. The first thing, she said, are you going to be okay? What do we do? We can't cancel this. I said, no, no, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And I actually started off the interview by saying, what does it say for American society that I, someone who with a 4.0 <laughs> graduated top of my class, find it difficult to get through your Ooh, book? Brilliant question. And I said, it's, it's you know, and he, and he, he kind of cocked his head and he said, you know, he said, it's fascinating. And he got this big smile on his face. And I don't even remember what he said after that. All I know is he was smiling. <laughs> because he was using words was you like, didn't understand anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I just felt like, oh, my God, I got through this. And yeah. his fr his good friend who was working with him, whose name I forget, but it was his um, his uh, lover, I think, for years and years. 25 and years. years he had the they same. Were together, yeah, they were together yeah, that long. And yeah. he, he patted me on the back. He said, Gore loves <laughs> you. You can come to the house in Italy whenever you want to. <laughs> Did you? I didn't. No. Well, Silly me. I don't you think can't I, now. I can't now. No, you can't yeah, now. I missed that boat. You, you, anyway. uh, uh, for those uh, listeners, viewers, uh, who are old enough to remember the Dick Cavett show, right. um, Gore Vidal had a wonderful ongoing love-hate relationship with William F. Buckley. Oh, and if God. anyone yeah. can go on the internet and find when uh, Gore Vidal just really played the dozens like a black man, and he just, <laughs> with a, a thesaurus, and he just really <laughs> nailed it to William F. Buckley, who needed nailing at the time. And it's just a phenomenal, so all hats to Gore Vidal. He was I loved his nonfiction more than his fiction. Right. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, American icon. And he said something really interesting when I think they were they were comparing him to the great novelist, the great literature uh, uh, kings of all time. And he said he's a dying breed. And he's right. We don't have that type of. Um, I don't think so. Right. Uh, just iconic figure where everybody knew Gore Vidal, whether you agreed with him or not. Whether and you could read his books or, or whether, not. Yeah, whether like you could understand. <laughs> but, understand but I mean, we just don't have that anymore. Anyway, uh, all hats to Gore Vidal and all the others. We're going to be honoring all the other notable and not so notable folks who pass on to the great big whatever it is or whatever you believe. But... McDonald's in the sky. Oh, oh okay. Or, or that, hey, that's a good product placement. Say, you get yeah, hopefully they'll like yeah. free cheeseburgers. <laughs> Let's around. just hope it's not Chick Fil A. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, anyway, another note. Um, it? what I want to do is I want you guys to listen to this wonderful music by these wonderful young women who are here today. We're going to speak to them in about a minute, but take a listen to this: the Triple J Plus sisters, and they're fabulous. Out of Nigeria.
the station. Wonderful. Well, you guys, welcome. Welcome. Isn't that great? Fabulous. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you in order. We have Jesse. Yes. Jemmy. Yeah. Jael. Welcome, the Demina Thank sisters, you. the Triple J Plus from Nigeria. Yeah. Well, go on with your African self. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad you ladies are here for our first show. Our first show. Um, I, uh, and you'll have to come back in 20 years for our last show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a very quick plug. Um, they uh, uh, are entering the world of television here in the States, and you uh, did a pilot plus five episodes of the show. Uh, the oh, you've already done six shows already? Yeah, six oh, episodes. Man. It's the Triple J Plus project, but I'm sure it'll probably be called City of Angels. <laughs> if, if you were smart, you'd call it City of Angels. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got to play your zany aunt, Aunt yeah. Jazz. So, yes. ladies, welcome to the studio. Mm-hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. So, okay, let's let's talk about the, let's ask the most typical question, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, what's it like coming from, now I know you spent some time abroad beyond Nigeria. Mm-hmm. You were in London, and, and but what's it like being here? What, what is, is this your, your first trip here? No, no, not the first. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> when was the first time you guys were here? Your ladies were here? Oh, A few right. years ago. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. So what's your favorite thing about Los Angeles? Other than being tall, well, the sun, (laughs) (laughs) well, the the beach, the beach, yes, Mm -hmm. sun, you know, shopping. (laughs) Does it really bother you when it's really hot and someone actually says it's Africa hot? Because it really isn't Africa. Yeah, yeah, does that bother you? (laughs) It does. I'm like a little. No, yeah, it's not. You don't know that type of hot. (laughs) (laughs) Because what is Africa hot? Um, Have actually, you been to Africa? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You know what? I've, I've been, been to never, Africa. You've been to Africa. I've never been to Africa. So what is Africa hot? It's actually humid. Like you actually sweat do, mm-hmm. uh, when you're under the sun. Mm-hmm. But the sun here in America actually burns you. Like it burns even my skin. And wow. I think yeah. that's what causes cancer and stuff. Because ours, you just sweat it off. Right. And it goes right off your body. So so this is ours. Is Although we kind of think this we It's America have, hot. Yeah, this is <laughs> <laughs> Or melanoma hot. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> This is melanoma hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, little one, Jael, I want to I want to ask you a, a, an intro that everyone wants to know. Now, you guys are known all over the continent of Africa. Do you mm-hmm. know how many people don't know Africa is a continent? <laughs> <laughs> I a, mean, f- a former almost vice president probably was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're correct. But um, uh, it, being from Nigeria, this is a very important question for you. What is your favorite food? <laughs> what do you like to eat most more than if you if someone said this is what you're going to have to eat every day of your life what would it be Pizza Oh <laughs> A traditional African food. Oh, I thought it was going to be Igbo stew or, <laughs> or jollof rice. Pizza? Really? She's been here too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I think Jael, she means African, the best Nigerian food. Well, what's your best? Oh. Yeah. Nigerian pizza. Niger- <laughs> well, noodles. Noodles. Noodles? Aren't those yes. Chinese? No, oh. actually no. ours is called Indomie. It's like noodles, but it's shorter. And it's... um. It's it a has different a different flavor. taste. Yeah. Like it's noodlets. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is, it, is it in a broth or is it a... Yeah, like, you can make it as a broth, but some people prefer it as dry, some yeah. a little bit like watery and stuff, but is it's that, actually it, good because it has its own um, seasoning, comes with its own seasoning. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So so um, were you eating those noodles while you were making all your phenomenal music videos? Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got... I, we were watching, so especially... You know what I love? And, and Sherry, you sent me this. The vote... The, the the music oh. video about get out the vote. Take you you ladies t- took a stand. <laughs> <laughs> and none of you were old enough to vote at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but you took a stand. T- let's talk about that, Jesse. Is that was that a dangerous move to be so politically out front in Nigeria? Um, <laughs> Well, when we did the song, it was when they started um, raising awareness for the youth to go out and vote and stuff like that. So we realized that since we had a voice with the youths, we should do something to encourage them. So um, we did the song, mm-hmm. which was really interesting. It was great. Yeah. I mean, yes, that, that it video. was fun. And then we um, uh, did the video, put it on the internet, 
So what mm-hmm. happened? Did did the candidate that you were endorsing did he or she Actually, win? Actually, we <laughs> we did the song because we're not um, old enough to vote. Yeah, so right. It was yeah. Our own way of saying, saying go to go, vote. Yeah. So it was a rock the vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was. So, uh, uh, we're just encouraging people that you actually have to take a stand, like make a decision to get who you want into power. I was just so proud yeah. of you, girl. <laughs> doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I mean, and and. It, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, our crowd is very proud of you too. But I think, you know, you don't have to do stuff like that, mm-hmm. especially as young artists. There's no obligation. I mean, how many people do that here in the States? Well, a lot of people do it now. Really? But Yeah, but now. But yeah. Now. Well, right. actually, not right now. No. <laughs> people are going, really? Yeah. Those are our choices? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to move to Nigeria. <laughs> I just thought it was great. I was really Thank proud you. of you ladies Thank for you. doing stuff like that. Did it that. go viral? Did that video go viral? Do you know? Did uh, lots of people? Oh, yes, yeah. we had a chance to perform it in one of the major um, cities in Nigeria. Oh, yeah. fabulous. And yes, the, uh, there was a crowd and everything. It was fabulous. So, Jael, uh, what's the pre... Well, the, the crowd loves you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most loving crowd. There must be a lot of Nigerians in the crowd. Did you bring... You bring some... brought their own crowd. So, <laughs> Jael, are, are you the lead choreographer? Because... They dance like like crazy dancers. Are you one of the lead? Cor- are you the? Are you the the? What's her name? J Lo of the group. <laughs> oh well, J Lo was the choreographer on your uh, show. Uh, color, 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 I should have known that. You Living color. Thank say, you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> but are, do you? Are you the choreographer? No, no. I'm the dancer. You're, I know you're the dancer. The major Who dancer. Who choreographs? Yeah. yeah. Either. Mm-hmm. Um, we both do our dance steps, but then we have like the central dance teacher who like Good. comes like shape us Show up us, and, yeah, yeah but Gile is the she hits all the steps she yeah. does yeah. Yeah. <laughs> during filming during the filming of the six episodes I mean uh, there's no way I could do any of the dance steps it was way, it was like calculus the way you were dancing <laughs> no way I could figure it but they were great they were really now really what's great. Do, can yeah. we talk a little bit about what the story of the pilot is sure why don't you tell us what the, yes. uh, the, the, the background of the story okay um, it's about three Nigerian girls that's really like, oh, yes that's awesome yes. yes. <laughs> who come to um, who actually are discovered on YouTube and are invited to um, America to either make it or break it. So this is a reality show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in some way, it yeah, is. is sort of, right? Yeah, okay, it anyway. is. But then there's like he has like funny stories and and lessons you learn and stuff like that. It's really yeah, what really I really appreciate about it, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't uh, too sweet or flowery, but mm-hmm. there was always a good moral to right. the to mm-hmm. like yeah. an Aesop fable. There was always yes. a good moral to mm-hmm. the story, yes. and I think yeah. that's mm-hmm. what we need. Yes, yes, yes. yes. especially that's, for younger people. Yeah, that's yes. that's one of our major um, goals to. Yes. Give, send a message out to the youth and to young people like us that you don't have to like be all only about fashion and what's latest and everything just to be like everyone else that you can be your own self and still be fabulous and you know well, cool. before we say goodbye, we're, we're, what's next for, for you girls, besides coming back here and doing 35 episodes oh, of a wonderful <laughs> show? <laughs> with with yeah. your aunt. <laughs> yes, and my aunt has a sister. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or an older aunt. <laughs> <laughs> or the goofy best friend next door. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, no, or the mean teacher. The mean teacher. What's next? What, 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 what's going on with you? Um, well, we go back. Oh, yeah, you obviously, go back. Yeah, yeah, we go back. And obviously, we're going to focus on school. Yeah. Then, uh, I guess just, just like making more music and too. making more, more music. Yeah. And you have albums that are out and for sale now, right? Just one. Album. And what's the name of the album? Yeah, just complete, complete again. again. Ah, complete, complete again. again. And Jael, do, why don't you say goodbye in in whatever Nigerian dialect oh. you can? Interesting. No, hmm. oh, she's twenty. She's that fifty-two to pick from. I know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, almost a hundred and something. Like okay, well then pick the one you're most comfortable with and say goodbye to all that, of our that listeners. Amory and I can pick yeah, up so we easily can, so that we can say so it we later. can say it too. Uh, Watch, just Sanjuma. just say goodbye. Yeah, what is goodbye. it? Sanjuma. Sanjima? Sanjima. Yes. Sanjima. Yes. Sanjima. Yes. Sanjima. Sanjima. Sanjima to our listeners. Sanjima people. Sanjima. To our people in Nigeria. You know, I may be from Nigeria. Do you know where you're from? <laughs> yeah, my people are from here. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are from here too, but I think Dad I Dad was some... born in New York and Mom was born well, in Washington, uh, yeah, D.C. Yeah, but our, our skin color tells yeah. us we got to have something in <laughs> yeah, Africa. Absolutely. So I'm going to find out. Maybe it's Nigeria. But thank you, ladies. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> that when you're listening to LA Talk Live, that was Triple J Plus City of Angels. Yes. 
We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Hi, this is John McClure Jr., a.k.a. Simply John, and I would like to invite you to join us on GospelRhythms.com every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our show, GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. Join us as we celebrate Christians around the world in all genres of entertainment, as well as highlight interest stories on men and women who are making a difference and impacting their community. So don't forget to tune in to GospelRhythms.com on L.A. Talk Live. And we're more than just talk. Remember, it's a heaven's party here on earth. So live life. Love God. Hey everybody, this is Richard Carr inviting you to join me in the radio boardroom for the new Entrepreneur's Weekly Summit in my all new day and time. That's right. The new Entrepreneur's Weekly Summit is moving to Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific. So don't forget the new Entrepreneur's Weekly Summit now Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific exclusively here on L.A. Talk Live where it's more than just talk. We'll see you there. Hey, hey, everybody, it's Miss R&B, and I'm inviting you to come and hang with me every Thursday night at 9 p.m. PST for Perspectives Corner with Rona Ro Bennett on America Talk Live. Hear and see interviews and live performances from some of our favorite celebrities and personalities in entertainment, sports, business, and the wellness industries. We're getting lifted and we're going deep, talking about life and empowering the champion in us all. See you there. Hi, this is Kim. And I'm James. Inviting you to join us on our all-new reality radio show, Kick Your Assets Into Shape. Every Friday at 10 a.m. beginning June 29th. Join us on the show that gets your money straight and your business growing. So don't forget to tune into our show, Kick Your Assets Into Shape. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes.com. And like us on Facebook at Kick Your Assets Into Shape. Or watch us on Ustream TV. This is LA Talk Live, reality radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure and more than just talk. We are your hosts, Kim and James of the all-new reality radio show, Kick Your Assets Into Shape. Which boot you gonna use, babe? The steel toe or the pointy one? <laughs> no boots on this show. <laughs> oh man, dang. <laughs> Hi, I'm Renina Minter. And I'm Delana Watson, inviting you to join us every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our show, Sisters Seeking Solutions. Join us as we discuss real-life issues, hot topics, reality TV, and current events, while providing entertaining and encouraging solutions. So don't forget to tune in to Sisters Seeking Solutions, more More than than a show, a a movement, movement. every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream.tv and now on Radio Flag and every mobile device. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live and we are more than just talk. This is Sherry Lafane, and we are here at the Daily Schmooze. I'm with Anne Marie Johnson. Hello. Uh, I'm just going to give you like a little reminder, a little social media reminder. You can follow us on Facebook.com slash The Daily Schmooze. That's S-C-H-M-O-O-Z-E. Uh, you can also Twitter us at Daily Schmooze L-A. Uh, that's D-A-I-L-Y-S-C-H-M-O-O-Z-E L-A. Uh, and also the Daily Schmooze PR at gmail.com. You can email us there. And you can even call us if you want. People still do that. People can call at 323-247-7443. You know, it's funny because I see 
the social media thing going and you know you know I've been watching the Olympics on and off there's like sometimes I wake up at three in the morning and that's when the good stuff is on. that's when the good lives and they on. just happen to have a whole thing about their social media you know obviously um, Michael was getting Michael Phelps was sure. the swimmer was getting more Facebook hits than anybody until Gabby mm, won Gabby beat him Gabby. for a brief moment mm. but I think I just saw something really weird like the Twitter the biggest Twitter was badminton it was like well, the controversy. It was the controversy yeah. of the badminton. Yeah, There's like 300,000 Twitters on badminton. Now we know why they call it badminton. <laughs> Those people are bad. They're, They're bad. They were speaking cheating. of bad. Speaking of bad. Bad man right to my right. I'm sure all the listeners and viewers are more familiar with the bad man than Sherry and I are, but we're going to get to know you quite well, is David Ravon. Hey, hey. Hey. David, David, David. What's that? Well, let, let, let's talk a little bit about you briefly mm-hmm. before you talk about us, because it really is mm-hmm. about us. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> we are the most important thing yeah, right I, now, this very moment. Indeed. Forget about uh, Obama's birthday. The Olympics. Which is uh, pretty pretty impressive. That's by very way. impressive. Yeah. Uh, but it's about sharing. That's right. Me, right? Really okay. So, but first of and all. David. And David. Well, no, not, not really yet. David. Not, not yet. yet. Yeah. But, uh, David, you have your own show. Absolutely. So, uh, how are we doing? Show's going great. <laughs> Show is going great. You know, it's it's a type of repetition improves everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And and the more fluidity mm-hmm. it becomes when you guys are just you know fluidity. Fluidity. <laughs> you'll make up words. That's a Gore Vidal word. Yeah. That's a fluidity. You'll make up words and people will use those words. Yeah. You know, they add them. I'm like, we know it's a fact because yeah. Anne Marie or Sherry and or David said it, so it must be I'm a so, real word. It's like Jet magazine. If it's in Jet, <laughs> if it's in Jet, it's all going true. I'm gonna start using conversate. Because I, I have a yeah. feeling that Conversate will yeah. soon be in the Webster's it's Dictionary. It's in Black Webster. It's the, it's the shorter It's a little dictionary. one. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hell together. That's abbreviated. Oh, that's abbreviated. Oh, that's horrible. So what what, what can we do? What can share? What, you know, to interview us. I mean, you guys, you guys are doing great. Yeah. I mean, you got a lot of energy. You got history. I mean, the thing is, watching you guys is to to shut off what's going on. I mean, shut off who you are and watch what's going on. Mm-hmm. That's the hard part. Yeah. When you're looking at Shara, you, you Belafonte, you just thinking, you thinking. What the hell happened to her head? <laughs> That's what I'm well, you know, it's so funny. I want to say, I want to say Beetlejuice. Yes, yes. But not, no, not you know because of wait, wait, you ready for this? No, you're gonna song. like this because Sam is in the house. My husband's in the house. But this is what Sam says. I look like the Predator. Predator, absolutely. Yeah. What's the Predator? The, the, the movie Predator. You never saw Predator. That, the movie Predator? No. Predator versus Predator Alien. Was like an alien thing and it had... You never seen hair. Predator? Oh my yeah. God. Everybody's oh going to like immediately Google search Predator. What is wrong with you? Yep, that's what you I don't like. watch... Um, you know, nonfiction, real life. <laughs> Predator is the truth. Is so <laughs> Predator, yeah, that's a real She's truth. right here. Danny, right Glover, here. <laughs> Danny Glover was in Predator. How can you say that's not true? Uh, it's just, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, I won't get into that because they're all very nice Some people. of us just have good hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got excellent hair. I got some excellent but that's an in- I never thought about that, that it may be difficult for some people to separate the heat of the night from from, from the, you were being yeah. on a, a radio show. Mm. It's just it's just one of those type of, but it happens over time. Mm-hmm. You know, when people see that you become big. It's like when Beyonce does a movie. You see Beyonce singing, trying to do the acting. Sure. You know, trying acting, right. but uh, you can't help but <laughs> look at her acting. trying acting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not acting. Is David that a comment? You're not an actor. <laughs> yeah, right. You're trying actor right. or well, something else. You become it, an actress. When you truly believe in the passion of acting, I'm right. just going to do it because I, I, my record company told me that I can make a lot of money if I do this movie. Well, that's very interesting because the three of us are actors. You're that's an actor, I'm an actor, no, actor I, I, actor. I know you're an actor. You, you're an actor, all, too. You are brilliant both in comedy and dramedy. Okay, <laughs> and thank dr- you. When you took I, off your leg <laughs> and took off your dress <laughs> and walked and hopped out the room, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, that's gonna be on my tombstone. Don't, don't make me hop after you. That, that, <laughs> it doesn't matter tombstone. all the work. Yeah, right. Half <laughs> <laughs> side tombstone. You know, I mean, Anne Marie, the other part is right. gone. Oh god. Yeah, and see, oh. all the time when I go into hotels, people, yeah. well, you know, yes. even older people, right away go, right. hotel. You, you want to be behind the desk. Don't the you? concierge. Like, what, now, were you the official concierge? I was the official concierge the last two. years. That's right. The last two yeah. years. First yeah. three years, I was a desk clerk. Right. Yeah, they kind of bumped you. And you know, we, we shot the pilot in San Francisco at the uh, at the Fairmont Hotel. Oh, wow. Oh, Fairmont and Roosevelt, wasn't it? Fairmont, well, no, it was just the Fairmont Hotel oh. that was right up at the top of the hill. Yes, oh. yeah. And, it was, and we were shooting live, and we would shoot from 
midnight until 6 a.m. Mm. because that's when most of the guests were up in their rooms mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, there'd be people who were leaving early and they'd throw their keys at, at Heidi Bohe and myself because we were <laughs> the desk like, here, send somebody up to get the bags. And we'd go, uh, Michael Spound, who was the actor. <laughs> yeah, was like, I know oh, Michael, Michael Spound. Go yeah. up to it. To you know what? That guy was wearing a nice coat. Maybe I'll just go up and check out and see what the bag is. <laughs> you know, are. that reminds me <laughs> of years ago. Uh, first of all, I have to say, when I was on In Living Color, mm -hmm. uh, it was my job to imitate Sherry. <laughs> so, so I had to imitate a few characters, but uh -huh. Sherry was <laughs> Sherry. I had to imitate Sherry. So, Sherry, on one of the segments <laughs> of In Living Color, we did uh, we did uh, 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 Hollywood Squares, okay. which I portrayed uh -huh. Sherry. But we also oh, God, did we I, also God, did we did Circus of the Network Stars. Oh. <laughs> so, Sherry at that time was in a weight loss product which we will not name the name no and um so <laughs> it, the, the gag was i was sherry mm -hmm. and they put me on they strapped me to a revolving wheel mm -hmm. oh uh, and uh and tommy davidson who i love who is respond he brought me on to in living color because mm -hmm. we did a movie together strictly business mm -hmm. and he said when you're off in the heat of night come to in living color and he held his word um tommy, very unusual in his yeah business. very unusual tommy was stevie wonder and oh he was God. throwing knives oh at Sherry God. Belafonte. <laughs> so he said, the only way I know where you are, talk to me, Sherry. So I had to, I won't imitate her no, here. No, but, do no, I don't want to do it. All right. But, this is, this but, is me imitating Sherry. How much do I sound like Sherry? I sound exactly <laughs> like her, don't I? Wow, well, you're amazing, <laughs> Amory. So I had to do Sherry. And uh, I had to yell, Stevie, I'm here, right here. <laughs> Losing weight every minute. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that was my homage to Sherry because you know she's wow. iconic and yeah. and oh, yeah. good, yeah. the people Absolutely. love her. But you're, and forty pounds heavier now. <laughs> <laughs> so now wait, now being on the internet, does that also add forty uh, five pounds or ten pounds like regular television uh, screen? Um, well, look, because you're a very saying, you're you know a what? very in shape. Well, man. I mean, I, I try to keep look the little, at you little together because mm. I'm I'm fifty three years old, you know, so I try Ooh. to look like it. You look fabulous. Wow. Yeah, you know. Hey. Now let's not say black don't crack because we know it does. Fifty is the new fifty, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you may look good on the outside, but on the inside you, you feel like fifty. And scream, yeah. And scream, yeah. Yeah, ask my ask my knees how old they are. <laughs> They're like, eh. no matter how I look, my kidneys are still absolutely. 50. Right. I get it. Okay. Catch disease you can't even explain. I got yeah. athlete's feet. Now, how the hell I got athlete's feet? I'm not even an athlete. <laughs> I think I woke up and an athlete walked to my house and put his feet in my shoes, <laughs> left my itching and ran out there. <laughs> Now, come on, put my feet. Now, I got an wow. itch. Wow. And you know when you're over 50, you scratch your feet. You do a lot of stuff while you sleep. You ain't realize you're doing it. Like, you that, scratch your feet with yeah. the same hand. You reach up and scratch your behind. Ooh. Now, you got athlete's ass. Now, and you know what? Now, let me tell you something. I was thinking about hooking you up with one of my girlfriends, but you can forget about that. Does she have any rashes? <laughs> Good Lord. Man. Well, you know what? It'll be out there. I had to get quick, quick acting to knock them. You know, yeah, I was going to say, you hit the... Shh, <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Uh, Hit in both spots, uh, baby. S S Sherry and I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So we'll just leave it like that. Wink, wink, wink nudge, nudge. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, because this is our, what would you call this our maiden voyage? Inaugural. Unlike, you know, inaugural. Very yeah, good. Did I say that right? You did. You pronounce that well. I thought that you were well. like, <laughs> like a black reference. Like inaugural. 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 <laughs> That's a very dangerous word. You, know, you can really, you can really screw <laughs> that up. In Nicaragua. Yeah. Uh, Nicaragua. 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 Um, as our inaugural show mm -hmm. or maiden voyage, um, what's the vibe? What do you? What's the best advice you can give us? Just the energy that you have. Just keep it going. Keep it flowing. And don't be afraid. Cause like one thing about regular television and, and terrestrial radio. Is that you gotta watch what you say? Yeah, well, gotta, we know that that's the main reason I signed on. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like you don't have to watch what you say. Know. You know how we're gonna pay ourselves? I'm gonna have a huge jar, and every time Sherry says a a profoundly a nasty word, you'll be rich. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually talked about putting in a putting in the quarter. Yeah, we need it. We need right? a jar. Yeah. We need a really big jar. We need a big. Uh, it's it's, it's based not so on much the language is is context. You know, because right, well, right. a lot of times context a rule where you can't say certain things but you know you can go there 
fire on the internet. And that's what's so, you don't have to just come out here and just lose your mind with F words and drop an F bomb. Sure. But you can go there if you really need to to express a point. Yes. Right. Yeah, yes. And not feel inhibited. That's right. the best thing about it. And, and don't worry about it. Okay. You know, nothing's Don't worry happen. about it, Sherry. Nothing's yeah, going to happen you know, to you. As soon as they told me there was not a mute button, right. I sweated she... it for just a brief moment. Yeah. Well, it is then... a mute button, but it happens accidentally when we <laughs> screwing up back there. <laughs> Uh, uh, now you're going to be our board. What, what's the official title? Uh, because I, I want know. people engineer, to know. I don't, engineer. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, I call it sound engineer. A technical, technical. a technical yeah. our engineer. Techno daddy. Yeah, our yeah. techno daddy. Our you techno are daddy. our techno daddy. Well, I mean, I learned from the guy who's Tell up behind the board daddy. now, so you know, yeah. I, I won't, I won't be as proficient in our doing all the things uncle. that he's doing. <laughs> I, 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 our techno, techno uncle. uncle. Techno uncle. uncle. Yeah. But uh, I'll make sure it, it, it flows and you yes. know it goes the way. I mean, I I've been doing my show. I'm going on the 59th episode. <gasps> and uh, oh, thanks. And 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 it was so funny because I said what Sherry said. It, sat sat it. See? Sat it. Sat. Oh no, I don't think we need a techno Webster? uncle. Webster, get the white guy uh, in. Well, she seated and, and it was it was like I was happy interviewing and and yeah. then Richard said, hey man, you need to learn the, the board. Like man, I'm not finna learn no board. You know, like yeah. like most black people do when you get an opportunity to improve ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately fought that progressiveness, <laughs> and then finally. No, was no, no! I and don't want to learn anything you know, new. I I'm came not. in and kind of looked right at the thing, and, went, <laughs> and and Richard was saying, "Sherry, can you sit in the chair?" No, no, I got to sit the lights. You know, we, I'm doing we the couldn't exact get opposite. Sherry. Yeah, we couldn't get like, wait, Sherry away not quite from right it. Here, yeah. That is so well, he, the, funny. He had a phrase he said was that a monkey could do it. And I was like, <laughs> I, bet, get a I bet a monkey can't tell jokes. And then uh, I got back there, and it's like being the captain of a, a ship. You feel like you feel you, good, right? You, I mean, you you literally. You, it, do you find that offensive when people say a monkey could do that? Because I'm so uber well, yeah, racially I was. sensitive. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> One person said a monkey could run the country, and I almost fought that person. Hey, hey, who you call the yeah, president you call a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that it was a monkey a few years ago, but. <laughs> But basically, there's a baboon. And he had a monkey. few years. <laughs> he, he had, had eight years. Eight. He had eight years oh, in the monkey cage. Dude, he wasn't even a orangutan. He was just a regular <laughs> old <laughs> dumbass monkey. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Huh? You can say the dumb yeah, ass. Okay. You just can't say ass with the H attached no, to it. No, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> people who really know me, I have a very, very foul mouth. But I have to know when to use it. When. So this yeah. is the new It'll me. It'll be coming out you pretty know, soon. No, yeah, no, you no, no. You're not going to hear What's it What's the new me? you? Not to curse. <laughs> that, that's the new me. Oh, not to curse. You're going to do this I'm entire try. 12 years. I am going to try. My sphincter to... muscle is so tight I can crack a walnut. <laughs> There are words that are just waiting to pop out Speak of me. You know what? It's some, I'm, You're going to, you want to do a bet? Witness here, no, right? We're gonna, Everybody's okay. going to witness here. Okay, it's a bet. I guarantee you she's going to drop one of those. She's F-bombs right. Before. She's right. Hey, I'll lose. So probably it's, before it's, tomorrow's show. No, it's probably within the next two minutes. Internet right. radio. <laughs> yeah. You know, but the thing was, he basically said that and I got back there and, and I started working it and then it's like actually strapping in, you know, for three hours because my show is three hours and, and, and making everything happen, facilitating, keeping flowing, taking the phone calls. That's multitasking. You know, interviewing people. People playing the music, but but it's Scratching nothing your like butt with your feet. if you ha- now you get you learn to scratch because I chair we do chair dancing on my show you know <laughs> yeah, you can do it at home you know make me want to groove that's right slide down. <laughs> <laughs> you know. but it's just it's it's so much fun and wow. uh, you guys are gonna have a ball we're looking forward to it because it's always nice to have good looking people working with you. That's what I said. We're not going to get no ugly people. No. Yeah. no. And there's no offense to ugly people, but you know who you are. And <laughs> it's it was a requirement. There are no there ugly are, people. You know what? You are Just right. Just unusual there looking. Are no, no ugly but you know, no, Sherry is completely correct. There are no Just ugly people. Pe- Just unusual. Looking, yeah. Unique. Oh, my daddy told me. He said, yeah. there are no ugly people. Just unusual. Did your father unusual. say you were an unusual person? He also <laughs> told me. I told him I wanted a monkey. Back to the monkey <laughs> thing. And he told me to look in the mirror. Oh! <laughs> Right, and then oh. I've been looking for that monkey ever since. Yeah, well, and then when he brought it back up, next thing oh. I know, <laughs> right. the, there's that monkey thing Dad, again. Daddy didn't lie. The monkey has landed. The monkey has. You're no monkey. Uh, no offense to monkeys. Monkeys are fabulous yeah, individuals. Especially the squirrel monkeys. I like them. Except at the LA Zoo. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago where the uh, male chimpanzee killed a three-month-old yeah. infant? Yeah. In, in front, front of everybody. Of everybody. Right. Another they, another mm. reason why I think the days of the zoo should be eliminated, in my opinion. But there's, there's a lot of people that are thinking it, that. You know what? Yeah, the zoo yeah. should be just a wild reserve like they have in Africa. Exa- that should be the only zoo. Thank you. And, and it should be no protection. You out there and you want to look at the animals, well, you take a chance. Well, you're crazy. Bad moon, that, that, that's just crazy. That's, that's what just I'm crazy. saying. If you, wanna, if you really want to look at the animals, it should be on a fair, equal opportunity. They get to look at you, too. 
with the same amount of protection. Well, have you, well, have you ever done? No, out I, I want to go on safari? safari so bad. I mean, I've done a few of them, and let me tell you, it is really one of those things where Sam and I were on one in Af- South Africa a few years ago. Actually, it was down there for ESPN doing a thing, doing a sports thing for them, and mm-hmm. there was an elephant that came out of the woods and started charging us, and the truck driver, you know, started much, taking off while we're like. How much do you charge y'all for? <laughs> I mean, because the visit should be free. I they, think it should they be. They actually aroma. paid us to go down there. There is no <laughs> way you're gonna see me beyond San oh, Diego Wild Country Farm elephant, or whatever it is. Elephant I'm not, can't make quick yeah. turns. Yeah, uh, really, just, really, just talk just to turn. the elephant. Well, I mean, really, elephant, you know, like, hey, hold on, I'm going really? this way. I think they, you they need to not. talk to a few family members in Indonesia who've lost a few family members That's with those quick turning elephants. You gotta know how to turn quick. We'll be right back. Thank you for tuning in to L.A. Talk Live, reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is L.A. Talk Live, and we're more than just talk. Stay tuned. We know there are many choices in Internet radio, and the staff and hosts of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Hi, I'm Ro Williams, and I would like to invite you to join GospelRhythms.com every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our show, GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. Join us as we celebrate Christians around the world in all genres of entertainment, as well as highlight interest stories on men and women who are making a difference and impacting their community. So don't forget to tune in to GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes under R&B or watch us live on Ustream TV. We are reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com. We're more than just talk. We're heaven's party here on earth. What is Raybon Radio? Raybon Radio is something hot in a cool way. It's like brand new but old school. It's about everything and almost nothing at all. Raybon Radio is something fresh but will spoil you. Simply put, Raybon Radio is an entree of hilarity in a serious souffle filled with stuffing made out of what's happening right now. In other words, Raybon Radio is just dessert with hot calories of real sugar that isn't always sweet, but sugar, it's always real. We keep it that way. Rumbunctious! Raybon Radio every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time only on LATalkLive.com We're more than just talk We are back We are back And And we have David Raybon himself That's a rebunctious you just talking about being a cop mm-hmm. for 10 years in Texas. It yeah. was Houston, correct? Yeah, Houston, Texas. You have got to tell me a little bit about that. That had to be different. Well, you know, I tell you, you know, it's, it's, it was different. Uh, the things I remember the most probably, you know, when I was I was a narcotics officer for three years. Oh, you know, man. So like when the yeah, ghetto boys was, was making music, they was also making money sure. on the side. Yeah. And, and probably one of the most exciting things happened. I delivered a baby in the, in the front seat of a car in the middle of the street. And, and he's... 20 years old now. Was it yours? And no. <laughs> no. Because then it wouldn't be so outrageous. I know. <laughs> I had some I've been running around and I got delivered by the doctor. But, uh, he's my Facebook friend now. Aww. You know, so and named, they named him after me. Ray Bond but, or David? <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> that would have been mine. Ray Bond Schwartz. David. <laughs> you 
<laughs> Raymond Schwartz. See, y'all have to just change y'all show to comedy. <laughs> Forget it. I drop all them taglines no. and all that stuff. We're gonna be talking about no, news. No, no, we're gonna talk about just news. straight silly. No, because we'll y'all we'll hilarious. Do yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was, it was a great. My experience. father was a police officer, so I'm yeah, a cop's I mean, kid. You that. and I were yeah. talking about, and it's a very. My father was LAPD for 23 years. Mm-hmm. Vice worked his way up. Uh, it's a very unique life. It really and is. it's probably when you're a cop, you love being a cop, especially if you're a good cop. You yeah. love being a cop. You eat, sleep, drink, being a cop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people don't realize the pain and the stress it is on the family because we're not there with the adrenaline rush. We're not there. We're just right. I just remember sitting at home wondering, you know, if daddy was coming yeah, back tonight. Yeah, and that's yeah, well, real. You keep a lot of stuff to yourself. You, you know, you do. don't even share. I mean, I remember I recall once uh, I was doing a case, uh, an undercover case, actually the guy who I was working with. Uh, killed himself a couple of years ago, but mm. we were doing a case and and a uh, Colombian pulled out a gun. It was basically a robbery. You know, he was trying to rob us. We were buying three ounces of cocaine from them, but they didn't have any coke. It's a straight robbery. And my partner shot him through the car and and uh, through through me. You know, oh, it was geez. just one of those type of wow. incidents. But the, but the next day, my mom said, I said I told I, said, I told my mom I said, well, I got a Harry one. Had a Harry one last night, and she said, you know what? I I felt something was going on. I mm-hmm. felt. That mm-hmm. you had one, you know, yeah. and it was on the news, and yeah. and I said, yeah, that was one. You well, know. You know, did you think about backing off of it? Uh, <laughs> well, it was one too long after that. I transferred to Dare. You oh know, really? Oh. oh, fantastic! Drug sure. abuse, yeah. resi- drug abuse resistance education yeah, to fifth right. graders, and one of them little suckers brought a gun to school. Then, <laughs> I, <laughs> then I transport <laughs> transferred to Iraq. I figured I had a safe. You're chance. safe there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, it ain't that bad. You're in the fifth grade. You're never going to make it to grade school. That's 10 years old. That's amazing. Well, you know, it isn't that amazing when you think of that. That's true. I mean, my father was a cop when it was okay to be a cop because their weaponry was still better than the right, street. So right. my father wasn't worried about someone popping him with a nine millimeter, you know? Right. And, and, and now with the assault weapons. Exactly. Uh, you know, well, ridiculous. that's something we're going to be talking about, yeah. you know, um, gun control, and, you know, it, it, it's and you as a, as a former police officer really get this whole issue. But, and being in the South, you were in Texas, mm-hmm. gun control in Texas and gun control in California took right. completely you, you, different. You're born in Texas. They give you a bottle and a pistol the same day. <laughs> You be sucking on the pistol and shooting your oh, bottle. Yeah. You know, we were just up in uh, uh, Carson City, Nevada. Mm-hmm. Sam and I were shooting some stuff for a pilot. And all the people around there walk around. They have, they've got guns on their mm-hmm. hips. Mm-hmm. And in this particular area where Virginia City, they actually dress up in historical outfits and yeah. carry muskets. Good right. Lord. But they're muskets that work. Yeah. And you sort of think, this is just out of, out of reach. Right. I think now Las Vegas is probably the only Nevada city that you can't carry weapons because they were sealed because they know right? Vegas. Gambling, but, right? I think, right. but i think nevada you yeah. can yeah. i think the state I of nevada there's like a, how many states there's three or four states that you can, you carry. can call a, a, yeah, florida, a, a florida, florida i think it's one Texas. Uh, concealed weapons yeah. mm-hmm. but but you know the whole thing about gun safety is it's is so weird it's because people it's about fear but you gotta understand the militias and stuff was established way back in the years when you was worried about somebody kicking your door well, in the second right. amendment and the only person that could protect you was you and your mm-hmm. friends and everybody else who had a gun i recommend that everyone read the second amendment because the Second Amendment was all about militia, Absolutely. fear of the indigenous people who may want their land back, yeah. and fear My people. of in, yeah, that's the people, people I was talking about, right. and and fear of invasion of foreign powers. Exactly. That's what the Second Amendment is all about, right. folks. Not about a gun that can repeat a hundred to two hundred uh, bullets Rounds in of, a theater. Yeah. A shotgun su- suffices very well for yeah. home safety. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's well, the well, most recommended s- gun because that way, you know, usually just and a dog around in the chamber is enough to scare people. <laughs> yeah, right. The just a sound That's alone. all right. Yeah. I'm going to go next door. <laughs> yeah. Don't shoot. I'm going next door. Well, no, that's the thing, you know, because I said for a long time I was probably one of the few people that gave to the NRA and handgun control. Yeah. But well, my attitude was always. <laughs> You're not my, conflicted. My, I want my, you to have a gun, but just don't shoot me. No, no, no. I think everybody should have the right to have a gun. But at the time, like the amendment says, mm-hmm. guns were muskets. Yeah. You know, right. It take a long time. To, you, you know, it you wasn't know an AK-47. Now, if everybody get gets an AK-47, yeah. then, you know, have See, that. Now, that's going to be a topic because me being a cop's kid, I don't believe everyone should have should the have right a gun. to a gun. Yeah. Right. So, I don't need to tell you the truth. No, no, I'm saying, well, I mean, well you, know, you have the right. There's some people that just should It also have says in the Second Amendment uh, for it, lawful for purposes. For lawful purposes. Right. That's right. The, that, and that's the and ticket. Not your Everybody law. always take it out. And out what you think is lawful. Yeah, just right. what is law. And not the Zimmerman right. law. Right. No, right. No. Yeah. yeah, a hoodie I'll and just black make skin. it up. I'll just make it up along the way because just me and him, the only person that can testify against me is dead. And I want to talk about that because I know that you really spend some righteous time talking about. Every show, the first five minutes, 
minutes is, is update of the Trayvon Martin. Isn't that great? And I'm going to do it until right. Zimmerman is put away. And right. now uh, you, this is something that we can talk about in the future. But are we going to are we going to see a revisiting of uh, a riot in in that certain part of Florida if that doesn't take you place? You know, well, unfortunately, what happens when time gets in between incidents, people passion goes away. People just go like that's messed up, and they let it die out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's what's so great about having the internet radio that can reach everywhere, every country. You know, I had somebody call from Indonesia. You Ooh. know, I had somebody to call from. I mean, they, they call from everywhere to right. be able to reach everybody and and say and say I'm still angry. This is still mm-hmm. wrong. But what we have to do is just be vigilant. So if it happens again, we'll be on top of it. Well, this is what I twice. recommend. When the when the hearing it takes place and the jury has reached their decision, you need to be there live with LA Talk Live. Yeah, hey, I would lo- I would love to be there. Because since uh, you're you're keeping would, that absolutely. flame, you know, because lit. it's just I mean, it's, I, I used to be a black <laughs> kid and I was a cop. So I've seen both sides of this and 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 also it's just listen, I remember a situation when I was a cop, but I was a rookie. You know, and I had an option of keeping my job or standing up for a, a suspect who was black, but he was being mistreated by my superior officer. What am I going to do? Lose my job? The famous wall of silence? Hey, man. I went, but I went and sat in the car. I'm yeah. not going to witness this. Right. I'm not going to lose my job. Right. Either am I going to participate. So when you get to doing what you're going to do, violating the civil rights, then I'll be in the car. You know, something that I, I think it'd be great to talk to you about it in the future, uh, Sherry. Uh, Geraldo Herrera uh, got really ripped by Geraldo a statement. R- Rivera. Rivera got ripped by a statement he made about, mm-hmm. well, you know, young black people maybe really should consider what they're wearing, you know, in the hoodies right. and whatnot. But let me tell you something. Um, if we really honestly sat down and thought about that statement, not that I'm condoning it, but I understand where it came from. Mm-hmm. Because when I was growing up, my father being a cop, my father being one of the first to integrate squad cars in Los Angeles, my father knew that a person of a particular skin color mm-hmm. had to behave in a particular way to survive on the streets of any urban city. Right. And that has not changed. If you it look doesn't, like a thug, you, you're going to be treated I'm like a I'm telling thug. you. And if he had on a pink hoodie. Well, then it would have been Chick-fil-A. He wouldn't have had uh, a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Instead of eating Skittles, it would have been Chick-fil-A. It would have been fine. But it, there, it, we have gotten really lackadaisical with the fact that we are still hunted. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, mm-hmm. we have to check ourselves and maybe not want to behave, not maybe not behave the way we'd like to behave right. when we're out in the street. Because there's so many Zimmons out there right. that we, unfortunately, have to live a half-life. I right. think that there's that desire, though, to make it all go away, yeah. not make it such a, a split that we, you know, I, I think it's a dream. You know, yeah, is it a dream that's going to happen in our... Can it's we all get along? Yeah, right. Well, is no, we can't. Happen? You no. know, but we're inching our way. We have a black president. Yeah. And yeah, but look what, we're going to have a black look, president for another four years. But look what's happening. But look what, you know. I know. You know, and by the way, you know. I've you know, said, I know. It is so... I, it's 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 actually treasonous the way some people yes. talk about yeah, our president. Absolutely. Treasonous. In the and, and and if any one had, had you know had you know I think of the Rush Limbaugh's of the world and it just makes me want to go. Ugh. Or the judge, the Superior Court you judge, know, who yelled say, that you're to, a liar. To talk about our president yeah. the way he that people do purely because he's black. I'm purely sorry. because he's purely black. Purely because right. he's no black. Doubt. And it's no not doubt. because he's not. Br- I mean, he's brilliant. Yeah. You know. But, but whether you mixed. He's yeah. Not, and he's, he's not just black. But wait, 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 wait. Come on, we all know. know. Come on, our stuff makes you Come on. Steal. Well, you know, listen, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm listen. like my black, which is just like a little bit of black. <laughs> Sherry is like walking on the tightrope. I'm of black. right on the. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, if you go I'm back far enough, black. if you go back far enough, we all got a little bit of master. <laughs> all of it. A little that's master the, hanging on the, the hen house. It's we like, all do. As a matter of fact, that's they've said, they've Shoot. said that yeah. that you know yeah. that our society now and a lot of people who are you know uh, Robert Duvall did a movie, The Family Thing. Oh, that was great. You know, it was such a James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones plays his half brother right. and you're just sitting there going really listen in, in this studio the only people who were really black were the nigerian sisters yeah. sitting the, the, here sitting they there. are the true <laughs> african they are true you know what i'm african. saying if they live here they're the true african american yeah, that's right i don't even use the term african american i use the term oh. black oh I'm, i use african american oh no. every time i try to go I to the bank that. they remind <laughs> me how I broke my <laughs> black ass is <laughs> i am proud they got programs for african americans they ain't got <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that's for like black people. That's like Chris Rock's old routine about what's truly a N I G G. Yeah, right. What's really a Which is the only can... word I don't use on my show. Really? Yeah, I don't I, anything else. And and the and the three letter F word. We don't use that neither. The three letter F word. Right. R- rhymes with rag. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well oh, we would one. never we would never I mean there would be no need. But to... now the one that has God on the end, now we would throw that out. We don't want to alienate nobody. <laughs> 
Well, I think. <laughs> See, I use uh, all of them. You do? You yeah, use all I of do. Them? And, you know, I, and people kind of. <sighs> yeah. But my attitude is they really are just words. And the yeah. more we just let them be words and let them I'm fall out. I'm telling you, this is going to be a topic. And by the way, topic. I know it's. You, it, well, you know, and by the way, and, and it has come to, back to bite me in my right. ass yeah, a few okay. times. All right. But, you know, if I'm sitting with a friend of mine that's, uh, then I will. Do you, you say, say it? Yeah, uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no but, no. you know, but what's interesting is if I'm in mixed company, mm-hmm. I probably won't do it. Yeah. As often, yeah, it's, yeah, unless it's the mixed company that, it, that you know, that, that are familiar with. Yeah, right. Bail, if I'm really talking loud, to you know, right. if I'm talking to Mel, and I say, yeah. you know, nigga, sure. yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Da, da. right, yeah. But you usually, like you're talking about for the for the for the internet radio for the transmedia that we're on now, you use it for effect for what it is at the moment. It's I all think about the context. what happens right. is most people think it's okay to just go out there and start calling people niggers, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. or calling people mm-hmm. you know faggots, mm-hmm. or calling people. And that's to me that gray that that gray area where, like I said, the more you use it, the less hurtful well, it becomes. Right. Until uh, uh, until people uh, are no longer killed because of it, because right. of those words, or can't get a job, or can't get a marriage license, right. or, those words will never be okay. Or in my go opinion. free from actually or murdering go free people. From, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people. So, are, but these are the topics that we, as you do, in context, you know, yeah. it's okay right. to use it. If someone said and he called, do you, have, that, do you, of do course, that when you're of course, friends? not on the radio, but if you're in a room, with oh yeah, like not, not on the radio, no, it's different. But yeah, when I'm with folks, sometimes, hey yeah. man. You know, because sometimes th- that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to this crazy mm, just the other day. <laughs> Don't be talking about me mm, like please. that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can say Negro, please. Yeah. No, but please. Oh, yeah. you know what? Funny, because Nigeria, I don't know if it's true in Nigeria, but in South Africa, yeah. you and I would be colored. Yeah, Actually, well, all yeah. three of well, us we are colored. colored. We're colored we are here. Colored. Yeah. And it's and it's colored in a, in a nice way. Listen, before we... And when we, I first heard that, I went, whoa. It, well, it's a compliment. It's a compliment. But before we leave, it, when I was doing In the Heat of Night in, in... Now, no offense to anybody in the lovely state of Georgia, mm-hmm. specifically uh, Covington and Conyers and all of greater Atlanta. Mm-hmm. But when I was in doing In the Heat of the Night, they would usually refer... The, the people who live in that particular area would refer to our show as the mm show. Of course. Yeah. At the supermarket. They go, hey, I did, you're I did on a movie in South show. Carolina. Sam and I were doing a sh- two yeah. movies, two different movies. Right. And I was on the mm, movie in South Carolina. I just find this. It was Landsberg production. <laughs> I was on the nigga movie. Wow. Yeah. And Sam was on yeah. the, on the um, it was like the baby raping movie. Isn't that amazing? Was, so, titles, anyway. Titles we titles. love you. We love you in Atlanta. Except for Hip Hop Atlanta, which we want to talk about oh in our reality God, check yeah. roundup. Finally, what, that you know is what? the most offensive. But I could. But, but well, if you sit down for two seconds. You can't turn it off. Oh yes, you can. I, I try. I, I think like, it'll cause an aneurysm. That is so it. offensive. But we'll, you got to watch it because we can talk about it. I called it, it accidentally. Right. And yeah. I glued to it. <laughs> well, <laughs> this this has been Sherry. This is. Oh been, my God! Is it over? Oh almost. my God! I know. <laughs> this is time. this has been an adventure. And it's going to be an adventure that I hope lasts uh, as long as well, our respective marriages have. At least we know it's going to last till yeah, tomorrow right. because we've got <laughs> one. <laughs> we've already got we one have, scheduled for tomorrow night. Who do night. we have tomorrow? Tomorrow we have Isai Morales. Mm, Ooh, delicious yeah. Isai Morales. Love Isai. He's coming in to talk. And David, we'll have David too. And we'll have, he'll be sitting over where Richard's sitting. We're going to have wow. David permanently. We're going to have and David And we're actually probably going to turn the camera to him once in a while because we yeah. may want him to comment oh, once in a while. Well, I wish you guys all the luck, man, and success and prosperity with this opportunity because it's great. You know, you're going to reach more people than you ever reached in one night than you've done in weeks. I don't know. Well, hotel, you don't know my old prostitution days. Hotel and... <laughs> Let's not get crazy. <laughs> yeah, but we'll get on that on another show. <laughs> Prostitution, huh? But yeah, well, whole but other, we want to remind <laughs> we want to remind people that this is the Sherry Belafonte, Emery Johnson, the Daily Schmooze. We are on. We will be on Sundays, six to seven Pacific Standard Time on LA Talk Live. And it's like you said, you can go to facebookcom slash the Daily Schmooze. You can go Twitter us at Daily Schmooze LA. And the Daily Schmooze PR at gmail.com if you want to email us. And please feel free to call in tomorrow, too, at 323-247-7443. We love you all. We want to hear from you. We appreciate everyone here at LA Tuck Live for giving us this chance. We appreciate our Screen Actors Guild contract. Yes, we do. And we're moving on. And everyone have yeah, a Yeah, I want to get one of those. <laughs> Everyone and have you a too can make eight dollars and ninety five cents for the hour you're sitting here. <laughs> that's my unemployment. Say, okay. no, that's my unemployment. <laughs> Look for that union label. That's all I can say. <laughs> Made in China. Ah, <laughs> have a great day, everybody. People.
We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and hosts of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk.